But so, uh, and again, I apologize, I probably should have clicked on it before. But once you know this simple truth, that 100% of the people who are not in network marketing do not have a clue what it is, the reason that truth can set you free is because coupled with that truth is the truth that 95% of the people who are in network marketing don't have a clue what it is. And, there, and, and, this, and once you know these truths, these truths will set you free because here's what will happen is when, like when I first got, got going, I was so excited. I listened to what everybody was telling me and people were telling me they didn't have a clue. So you actually had the blind leading the blind. And I was more than motivated to help everybody. I mean, I was, I was, I was excuse me, I was more than motivated to listen to everybody because I was hungry. I really truly wanted to become successful. I wanted to learn what to do, how to do and why to do it. So I'd listen to what everybody would do and I would go off and do what they would tell me to do. And I would struggle and I would struggle and I would struggle. And the majority of people, uh, they can only take three rejections and they quit. And, and once I learned this truth that 100% of people who are not in network marketing don't have a clue what it is, and 95% of the people who are in network marketing don't have a clue what it is, once you know this truth, it will change your life and it will set you free because here's the first discovery that will, will awaken you. You are part of that group. I was part of that group that didn't have a clue. I was part of the group that thought I knew, but I didn't know. So if you don't know, see, not to know is one thing, but not to know that you don't know, that's worse yet. To know, to know that you don't know is, is all of a sudden, it's, it's, it's awakening. Then all of a sudden I started to realize that, you know what, everything that I think I probably should do is probably the wrong thing to do. And the majority of people who try to build a network marketing business, they fail, they struggle, they quit, they fail, they struggle, they quit, or they struggle, fail, quit, or they quit, fail, they struggle. It doesn't make a difference. They all, they, nobody makes any money because they're all listening to someone who doesn't have a clue. And I, and I always can tell when someone, uh, you know, when someone asks me certain questions, I can tell they don't have a clue. Uh, the first question that I get from somebody, I can tell they don't have a clue when they ask me, well, what are you selling? See, when they ask me, what are you selling? They tell, that tells me that person does not have a clue what we're doing because network marketing is not sales. It's not direct sales. It's not affiliate marketing. It's not, it's not online marketing. It's not retail sales. You know, network marketing is a, is a method of making money that works best with a whole lot of people, all, now listen to this word, a whole lot of people all buying a little bit of stuff. So it's not what you're selling that will make you successful in network marketing, it's, 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 it's what the team is buying that will make you successful in network marketing. And here's what happens with most, with, with, with most programs. Most programs are structured from the company standpoint, who too doesn't have a clue. I mean, if companies really knew what they were doing, they would understand their power is in the organizations that they're building of people who buy stuff in contrast to building a, a, an organization of people who sell stuff. Now, now, why is that important? Because just in the definition of network marketing, network marketing is a method of making money that works best with a lot of people all doing a little bit. See, now think about this. If you want to make a lot of money in network marketing, here's the truth. You will need a lot of people. Okay. Now, if you need a lot of people to make a lot of money, what pool has the most people in it? Is it the pool of people who want to sell stuff, or is it the pool, or is it in the pool who, who who are part of people who are willing to buy stuff? Here's what we know: out of a hundred people, you might have three people out of a hundred who kind of like to sell. Now, so if you if you're going to build an organization and you're going to strategize on a sales organization, your pool is at three out of a hundred, a small pool. But here's what we know, 100 people out of 100 are willing to buy stuff. So where's the bigger pool? Is a bigger pool in the people of salespeople or is a bigger pool in the people who wanna buy stuff? Once you know this truth, again, 100% of people who are not in network marketing don't have a clue. 95% of people who are in network marketing don't have a clue. If people are leading with products, if they're trying to get off and get people excited about product A, product B. I mean, I had a guy today call me from, a, 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 you know, you know again, out of town, I don't even say where he's at because he might be on this call, uh, but as he was talking with me, I could tell this guy didn't have a clue because all of his conversation, all of his focus was on products. Here's what, here's what I want you to realize, okay? If you had 100,000 people in your team, okay, and then we brought in a product that was, that, that was a, a cool product that, that was priced at the level the consuming public would embrace. It was high demand, high impact. You could make a killer. 
you would make you would make more money than you could spend if you had a hundred thousand people in your team. So what made you the money is not the product. What made you the money is the team. So here's what happens if you go off and you're trying to build a sales organization. It's gonna you're gonna have to work a thousand times harder to put a, a, a hundred thousand salespeople together. And let me tell you what happens with these salespeople. They get frustrated because they want fast money. See 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 salespeople are in it for the quick buck. Okay, and I tell people that, that if you're a sales mentality, you're going to struggle building a network marketing business because you want to you want to work and get paid, work and get paid, work and get paid, and because that's your mentality and that's that's how you see yourself, you're going to struggle building a network marketing business because network marketing is not designed to make you money up front. Which leads leads me to the second question I get from people that I know they don't got a clue because when people ask me, well, how fast can I make money? The minute someone asks me that, I know they don't have a clue about network marketing. Network marketing is not designed to make you money in the front side. It's designed to make you money in the back side. If you need to make money on the front side, you need to get in an affiliate program. You need to get in some sort of a direct sales program. You need to get in some sort of a, you know, some sort of a program that will that will pay you up front. You know, when, when you do an affiliate program, when you sell something, you get paid, or you do a direct sales program, you sell something, you get paid, or you do a job, you work and you get paid, that, that's what you need to do if you need to make money quick. But if you want to make money on the backside, if you want to work today, that you can build something that can pay you on the backside, that's what network marketing is. But most people, most people don't even have that concept. And what happened? And why is it they don't have that concept? Because we're not taught that. And I mean, we go to school. We're taught how to. You know, here's what I tell people: when you go to school, that they test you to see what your, you know, what your 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 capabilities are. I remember when I was in high school, my guidance counselor came up to came up to me, and and I, and I was more in the sports. My brother, older brother, he was an engineer. He was really smart. I tell people he graduated Uma Cum Laude. I graduated Lordy How Come. And and, uh, and so you know when when they do the aptitude test, you know I, I I wasn't that good in science, wasn't good in that math. I just I, you know I just have the aptitude for, for academia. So what happened was that they wanted to prepare me how to be average. They wanted to prepare me to how to how to be normal. How, you know how to be willing to live for less. That's 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 the way the job world works. So they tell you to go to school, get a good education, so you get a good job. Okay, so then you can go off and work for money. Here, here's the truth. And this is absolutely the truth. The A students hire the B students. And if you want a job, you need to get a good education. You need to get good grades to get a good job because if you're an A student, you'll get hired in upper management and you can go ahead and hire the B students to work for you. But here's what I've discovered. It's the C students that own the business. And why do they own the business? Because they, they weren't smart enough to get the good job. They didn't have the golden handcuffs, but they had the dream in their heart. They had the vision that they wanted to accomplish something in life. And they had the guts to go off and try something. And they were smart enough. They didn't know everything. So then they, they went off and they built a company. And they brought in the A students to run the company, told the A students to hire the B students. Once you can start to understand the, 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 the mentality that we're, we're taught in the job world, we're taught to go to school, get a good education, so you get a good job, and then you work and get paid, work and get paid, work and get paid. And if all of a sudden here's here, and I and I and, and again, maybe God blessed me that I didn't care that much about school. When I got to college, I went to college to play sports, and, and I remember I was in a marketing class one night. The college this is back in 1975, so I'm kind of dating myself here. But the college, you know, professor said, "Hey, listen, you guys graduate in the top 10 percent of your class. There's a good chance you can make fifteen thousand dollars a year." And I about crapped my pants. Because I was thinking 15000 a year? I mean, I was thinking 15000 I was thinking 15000 a month. I had no idea that's what jobs pay. I made a decision right there, right then. I was not going to have a job. I was going to go and start my own company. I was going to become a business for myself. My dad owned a couple of grocery stores. He owned a bowling alley. He owned a steakhouse. He owned farms. My dad was an entrepreneur. I decided right there that I was going to be, I was, I was not going to have a job. And so I went off and I started, I worked my butt off and, and how I got introduced to the business world. Uh, uh, I wanted to buy a retail store. I needed two years of experience. I needed 40,000 unencumbered cash. I was 19 years old. I had no money, no experience. And I found somebody that's willing to back me. And I worked for two years. Listen to this. I worked for two years for nothing. Two years for not, nothing. I learned to trade. The guy backed me in the store. By the time I was 22 years of age, I was not making $15,000 a year. I was making 75000 bucks a year. See, the difference between the people who, who, who become successful in network marketing are the ones who understand you do not work for money. You do, you do not work and get paid, work and get paid. If you want to become successful in network marketing, again, you have to learn to sow before you reap. And when you sow, you got to realize there's a time lag between when you sow and when you harvest. 
If you go off and plant a seed today and you go off next Thursday and dig it up, dude, if you expect to get a harvest, you need to go back to, you, you, you need to have somebody give your head a shake. Because you have to sow it, you have to nurture it, you got to cultivate it, you got you got to give it time to take root, and then you got to have you got to have give it time to grow, and then only in due time do you reap the harvest. And so when people ask me, "What are you selling?" they don't have a clue. When people ask me, "How fast can you make money?" they don't have a clue. Why is this so important? Because most of us, when we get involved in this industry, we don't have a clue, and we are taught to do by people who don't have a clue. Now, some of the people that can teach us what to do, they might be really, really good at affiliate marketing, they might be really, really good at going off and selling stuff, but if you want to build something that's going to last, you got to learn how to sow. you got to learn how to sow and plant a seed that can take root and give it time to grow. Now, one of the things that, that, that you know, we have uh, discovered over the last probably eight to ten years is that technology has evolved to the point that we don't have to do the same stuff that we've done in the past. Now, Network marketing, again, what is the definition of network marketing? Network marketing is a method of making money that works best with a lot of people all buying a little bit of stuff. Now, remember, listen to this. It's a method of making money where you have a lot of people all buying a little bit of stuff. Your goal is to build a big team. If you want to build a big team, where is the biggest pool of people? It's in the non-sales type people. So you never want to do anything that makes it look like you're a salesperson. So everything we do, if we want to build a large network marketing business, has to be geared towards presenting ourselves in the marketplace as a non-sales type organization. And how do we do that? Well, back in the old days, and I say old days, this is back when, you know, I call it the belly to belly date games where where I would show somebody and I'd get the list of names, I'd call them up and, you know, tell you, it was painful. It was a struggle. Um, but we, you know, you know, we, we would act, we'd actually have to run a lot of numbers to find a few people. And I tell people, if you want to make a lot of money back in the old days, you had to run, run a lot of numbers to find a person or you had to find a person who can run a lot of numbers. Today, that's not necessarily true because we've got a publisher that we contract with out of Arizona. Uh, that's got several different websites that people are constantly going off and saying, yes, I'm looking for a home-based business. Yes, I'm looking for a home-based business. Yes, I'm looking for a home-based business. We, we have this reservoir literally of millions of people. We just want to drip on them. We want to touch them with an opportunity that we've got a way that you can change your life uh, and actually become successful in a home-based business. And, and, and this might sound kind of crazy, but it's nothing like you've ever seen before because it's, it's not sales. Okay, and, and so the ADB was birthed, the Automatic Downline Builder System was birthed out of an understanding that we have literally millions of people in the United States. Fact is, if you, gotta, if you work in today, you're probably bringing you know, less home today than what you were six, seven, eight years ago. Okay, I mean, they talk about, yeah, we've created all these jobs. These jobs that we've created aren't good jobs, okay? You know, at best, they're, they're average or below average. You know, I remember back in the 70s and, and, and growing up where I grew up, John Deere was the number one employer. People graduate from high school, they go to work at John Deere. And, you know, back in the 70s, they were making 30 or 40,000 bucks a year. Today, people graduate from college, that's, that's kind of in the ballpark of what they're making. Now, every now and then, you get some college grad that's going to make more. But if you can make 40,000 coming out of school today, you feel pretty happy. We're talking 40 years ago, making the same kind of money. Uh, you know, back in the, in the 60s, General, General Motors was the number one employer in the United States. Today, it's Walmart. Today, people need money. People are looking for a pathway to economic prosperity, but the majority of people don't want to sell. And so, how do, you, how do you create an environment? How do you create this atmosphere? How do you create this, this business culture that realizes it's not sales? Well, number one, um, the campaigns have all, all have to be geared towards non-sales type campaigns. The presentation is all going to be geared towards non-sales uh, campaigns. Now, can, can, they, can you have some product, you know, exposure within those campaigns? Absolutely, and we will, okay? And the reason you have those product exposures is because we do, we do realize there's, there's needs in the marketplace, but here's the key. If you need to make a lot of money, excuse me, if you want to make a lot of money in network marketing, you need to have a big organization, but here's what, again, what most people don't understand. Again, 100% of people who are not in network marketing don't understand it. 95% of people who are in network marketing don't understand it. And here's the thing that hit me. 
until I was first willing to admit, even though I had been in it for a long time, I had to admit, I don't understand it. Because if I really understood it, I would be making the kind of money I want to be making. But I'm not making that kind of money, so I first have to admit, I don't understand it. So if you need a lot of people to make a lot of money, okay, and the biggest pool is in the non-sales people, and again, this is where the affiliate marketers kind of get messed up a little bit, they're thinking they got to go off and sponsor a lot of people. Only salespeople sponsor a lot of people. You don't need to sponsor a lot of people to make a lot of money. You know how many people you need to make a lot of money in network marketing? You need four good ones. Four good ones. Because once you get four good ones, all you got to teach those four good ones how to find four good ones. And then you want to teach your four how, how to help their four find four good ones. That's all you really have to do, okay? You get, you get four, then you help them get four, and then you teach them how to help their four get four, and then you coach them on how to do this. That's all you have to do. You can run the numbers on this. You can take, you can take the math and you can, you, 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 can, you can run it out. You get four who get four and just run it down through seven levels and it'll make you more money than you could ever, ever, ever spend. So the key is, how do you get four good ones? How do you get four good ones? Well, we have the ADB, the Automated Downline Builder System. It is geared to get you four good ones. What if it takes you a year to get four good ones? Okay? And what if it takes them a year to get four good ones? And what if it takes them a year to get four good ones? Seven years from now, in fact, is, you know, let me, let me do the simple math. I was, I was putting a spreadsheet together. I didn't have it time to get all to you, but... The, the math on this is simply this, four who get four through seven levels will make you about a million dollars a year. Okay, and again, I'm not making ec any economic uh, claims, I'm not making any guarantees, this is just an example of income based on the comp plan. Your success is going to depend upon what you do, and obviously if you do nothing, you should get nothing. But think about this, if it took you a year to get four good ones, Okay, and then it took them a year to get four good ones. And at the end of seven years, you got a million dollars a year. How many all seven years from now your life would change? And I, and I get a kick out. So well, I don't want to wait seven years, dude. Do you do not understand business? I worked two years for nothing. I quit college, went to work for a guy. He taught me everything I need to know about building the, the franchise industry. Learned it. I mean, literally learned everything I need to know. So at 19 years old, I quit school. Started with him. By the time I'm 21, I've got everything working. By the time I'm 22, I'm making 70, 75 thousand bucks a year. Why was I making 75 thousand dollars a year when I was 22 compared to all my college buddies that were graduating, graduating, making 15? Is because I spent two years working for nothing. See, if you're not, again, and again, as we share it and we talk with people, if you're not willing to give it at least four months to have the ADB take root and get to a break-even point, don't do this. Uh, uh, but my attitude is this, you know, um, it, 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 here's another, another little illustration. Uh, we own a tree farm. Uh, 30 years ago, we took a 22-acre farm and we planted trees on it, okay? Uh, you know, we used to have, you know, crops in there. We, you know, ran it out. So for 22 years, it's not made us any money. We planted the trees, and all of a sudden now, maybe you know, maybe ten more years, it's going to be literally worth millions of dollars. Most people are not willing to sow to reap. They want to work and get paid, work and get paid, work and get paid. That's how come they ask you, how fast can I make some money? I had one guy who said to me, he said, "What well, a key thing for me when I look at a network marketing business, I got to know how fast I can start making a thousand dollars a month." That guy, I could tell he didn't understand network marketing. Okay, I had somebody else tell me, well, I can never get involved in anything unless I'm 100% sold in the products. I can tell that person does, does not only understand network marketing, doesn't understand business. And the reason I say they don't even understand business was because, guys, in 1976, when I, when I quit college and I bought a, a, a retail store, it was a general merchandise store. The most profitable product that we had in, in my store was ladies' pantyhose. Now, I didn't look at that price. Well, I never... I'll never wear ladies' pantyhose. I'm not going to sell them. Heck, that would be stupid. Because if you understand business, if you can average $300 per linear foot in sales and you can make a 40% margin on those, on, those, on those products and you got 132 linear foot, you can do the math. You're, you're excited about that product even though you never, ever, ever, ever are going to wear it. So you don't have to be excited about a product. You just got to know that it sells. When you look at a travel club, I get people all the time say, I don't like travel. Well, dude, it doesn't make a difference if you don't like travel. I mean, there's going to be 10 million people are going to take a cruise this year from one of the ports in the United States. So people travel, okay? Some people say, well, I don't, I, you know, I don't like you know, this product. I don't like that product. It has nothing to do with business, okay? 
So, so when I try to sit down and try to teach people how to build an organization, here's what I, here's what I look for. Okay, I look for people who got a dream and a heart that they can't get doing what they're doing, who are looking for a vehicle to help them get it, who's willing to admit they don't know everything. And the people who think, well, I know everything, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep doing what I do. Okay, you need to do this. You, you would not believe how many people call me up and want me to change what I'm doing to fit what they need, and they're broke. It just baffles me. It's just over and over. It's just like, well, you need to do this. You need to do this. I'm thinking, okay, well, okay, I'm the one that's got a half a million dollars stuck in this thing, and now you want me to do what you want me to do, and you're broke. Okay, well, here's, here's kind of what I try to help everybody understand. You need, to, you need to give your head a shake really quick and ask yourself, are you at where you want to be in life? Okay, if you keep doing what you've been doing in the past, you're going to keep getting what you've been getting. If you want to make some changes, you've got to make some change. Well, the first thing you might need to change, you might need to just make a decision. You don't know everything. Okay, because if you really truly knew how to build a, a, a network marketing business, it, the logic is so simple. It's a lot of people all buying a little bit. Think, now think about this, math-wise. You go to a third grader or a fifth grader, maybe fifth grader is more obvious, go to a fifth grader and say, listen, would you be willing to spend $5 a month on some stuff if I could show you how to make a $1,000 a month in you know, extra money? They would say yes. They would ask, what, what do I got to spend the five bucks on? Because what are they focused on? They're focused on the 1000 bucks. So now what some people will say, well, gosh, Jeff, but Jeff, the, the products mean something. Yeah, it only means something after you get the guy that says yes. You understand this? If a person can't say yes, I would be willing to spend $25 a month on something to make $20,000 a month for the rest of my life until they can say yes to that question, the products don't matter. So the first question is, are you the kind of person that I'm looking for? I'm not here trying to. I'm not. I'm, I'm not here trying to convince you. I'm not here t trying to impress you. I'm here to interview you. If you're, if you fit my profile, if you got a dream in your heart that you can't get doing what you're doing, and if you, if you want to make some changes in your life, and if you're motivated and you and you're willing to take some directions, and you're willing to spend at least twenty five dollars a month, I will partner with you, and I'll help you build an organization that can get your dreams to come true. Do we got a deal? If they can't say yes to that question at that point, they're not my guy. I only need four. I only need four. So the ADB goes out, it drips on them, it sends them, you know, uh, uh, you know campaign after campaign after cane, campaign, it sends them to capture pages, goes to landing pages, goes to presentation pages, they join. Then I get on the phone and I say, you know, hey, Jim, glad to have you on board, glad you're part of the team. Hey, listen, and I've and I seen you join, uh, you know, through the, uh, you know, the Travel Club platform. That's awesome. I just got a question. Did you join because you like travel or are you looking to change your life? That's my call. They say, well, you know, I'm thinking more about travel. Hey, cool, no problem. If you ever get serious about making money, give me a holler. I'm here for you. Because how many am I looking for? I'm looking for four. I've got a year to find four. I got one guy, he's in five different deals, maybe, maybe six different deals. Because what's he doing? He's, he's using people to sell products to get him rich. He's not looking to build an organization. He's not looking to change people's lives. He's just looking to make money. So he doesn't do anything to last. He's just, you know, he's a salesperson. He's selling people on getting things. I'm not in to sell anybody on anything. I'm in to partner with people to help them get their dreams. So when they, when, they, when, they, when they get the email campaign, they, you know, they go to the capture page, they go to the landing page, they go to the presentation page, they join, and you get on the phone and say, hey, just, I see you just joined, I seen you join with the Izzy Life platform, and let me ask you, are you just looking to you know, get some healthy water, are you looking to change, you know, make some major dollars, you know, what, what, what was your motivation? Well, I mean, I was looking to make some money. Hey, dude, here's the best thing you can do. Every Tuesday night, 8 o'clock Central Time, we have a little powwow session where we all kind of throw our, you know, we, we all get together, we kind of, you know, basically we brainstorm to help change people's lives. We're just a group of individuals cooperatively working together to change your life and, and if you're interested you don't need to plug into that so what happens when they plug into a meeting like this and all of a sudden they start to realize man this we didn't talk about products hardly at all and all of a sudden they start to realize well this ain't no sales business what is this then they come back the second time they start to realize we're building people we're trying to help people become who they need to become so they can have what they want to have out of life it is so simple uh, let's see, I got 8.30. I'm going to go ahead and shut the recording down. Give me one second here, guys.